Hey, everybody. I think we're live. How are you? <sighs> Leslie here with the Plaid Poodle for Make It Monday. It is Monday, November 15th. Hey, Stace. I'm in the right place. <laughs> Hope you're having a great day. It's a beautiful fall day here in the Kansas City area. I got my window shades open. I even had some windows open earlier. So, hi, Carol. Um, enjoying the warmer temperatures. It was kind of wet and icky last week, but uh, we're making up for it today. Um, I'm going to turn the camera around. Uh, if you're here, please please join in the conversation. I'll, I, try, I have to kind of glance over at the comments once I get started, but um, there I am. <laughs> I kind of have got my camera finally arranged so that my desk camera isn't in in uh, in the way. So, but you kind of get my profile instead of um, front facing. So um, I will check the the uh, comments as often as I think of it today. Um, thanks for joining me. I love it when you come. Um, last week I had talked about non machinable. Um, cards and we had made this one this little um tower windmill tower card hi donna maggie's gonna get wild now but i said it would probably require more postage because it's a little thick and we had talked about the um non-machinable stamp that i ordered from amazon um, I put that on my envelope and then I used one of these stamps and these are the not I went I went ahead and bought two sheets the last time I was at the post office uh, last week so they have a butterfly on them and they say non machinable surcharge so this is for your first class postage plus a little bit of surcharge and let me see how much they were since I bought a sheet um, oh they just gave me a total I believe they were 88 cents so 88 cents a uh, stamp so you're paying a little bit more but you you're sending a beautiful handmade card it's a gift uh, by itself so I don't mind paying a little extra postage so those are the non machinable stamps I talked about last week and then you can get a um, stamp or you can just write in red ink non machinable it just helps the post office um, I don't know if it's necessary because I have paid for postage at the window and they sometimes they use the stamp, sometimes they don't. So um, check with your post office. But I usually put the stamp in the corner of my envelope and then I um, punch this right next to the stamp so they, they are aware. Okay. Because you hate for people to have to pay extra postage <laughs> when you send them a card. Okay, today we have some business. Um, it's the middle of November, so um, you can still join Stampin' Up! You get um, $125 worth of any, any um, product that is currently on the market <laughs> for $75. So it's a really good deal, and I would love to have you on my team. If you'd like to talk to me about it, just send me a message or comment below to get a hold of you, and I would be happy to do that. Um, it's, it's a good thing if you've been a former demonstrator and are thinking of coming back or you just want to um, shop the new catalog that's coming out. Uh, now's a great time to join. Tomorrow, which that brings me to my next point of business. Hi, um, Debbie, and I think I saw Candy join us, and Chris, hi you guys, it's good to see you. Tomorrow starts a three-day sale, and you save 10% off of cardstock, 15% off of ink pads, and 20% off of dyes in the uh, annual catalog. So no dyes from the holiday catalog, but all the dyes in the... Um, annual catalog you can save 20% off starting tomorrow for three days only so I'm thinking if you joined between the 16th and the 18th your 
your uh, $75 would go farther because you could get some cardstocks and dies. Just that's how I think. That's how I would think because you would get it at the current price. I think. I'm pretty sure you would. Um, so keep that in mind. And if, you, like I said, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll be sending out an email. You'll, you should receive one uh, first thing in the morning if you're on my mailing list. I sent one out Saturday morning just to kind of save the date. So I'll send another reminder out tomorrow with some links because the sale starts tomorrow and I've got a list. And I was going to share a couple of fun dies today on our project that um, you might want to consider. Um, the November host code. When you use the host code um, and purchase an order of $50 or more, you receive a free card kit from me. This is the card kit that my October um, host code people received so you're not getting you're not getting one layer cards you're getting some fantastic cards you get everything except the stamped images um, because we're not allowed to send stamped images and kits but you get everything else to, and they got everything to make these four cards um, I got them out in the mail last week and I will be working on the November ones this week um, so if you use that host code and your order is over fifty dollars you get the card kit. If your order is under $50, you still get the class tutorial. So you'll get all the color PDFs with all the directions and supply lists for the cards. I will send that along to you with a thank you card. So I think that is all the business. We are going to make a book fold card. Book binding card, book fold card. See how it's got this little um, looks like a book. It's really kind of a fun card. It, it leaves you with a square to really embellish and um, play with, I call it. <laughs> but it's it, they're really simple and really easy. You could use it with any of the supplies you have. The paper I'm using today are from the Tidings of Christmas um, designer series paper and this is in the annual catalog kind of in the middle of the catalog. You get six uh, two-sided prints. I love this paper. Um, with a total of 48 sheets. So you get, what would that be? Eight sheets of each print. So you get a lot of paper. I think this is my favorite print. It is. It looks so deep and rich. I want to wallpaper something with it. <laughs> Oh, Candy, I will give you a call uh, later if you want to rejoin right now. It's a great time to rejoin. That would be awesome. I'd love to have you back on the team. That would be great. Um, Donna Pollock says it cost her eight, 80 cents. Well, Donna, postage went up for the holidays. I don't know if it's going to go back down. But I believe I paid 88 cents. But I could be wrong. <laughs> which uh, it's, it doesn't take much for me to be wrong. Okay, I'm going to use some Evening Evergreen cardstock. And remember, starting tomorrow for three days, all of the cardstock in the catalog is going to be, what did I say, 10% off or 15% off? 10% off. So if you need to stock up on some cardstock, I need some more cherry cobbler, so I'll be, I'll be ordering some of that tomorrow. Um, so I've got a piece of four and a fourth by 11, and, which is a half of an eight and a half by 11. And I've scored it at five and a half. Let me put my little thingy out here. My arm. The arm measures up to 17 inches. I didn't know if you knew that. So it will measure up to 17 inches. Um, and I'm going to score that at five and a half and six and three quarters and this is going to make our little book book binding fold all right candy i will give you a call tonight awesome just in time for my christmas party for my demos <laughs> okay gotta get that on the um Save the date to all you gals. All right, so I've got this little six and three quarter. There's my five and a half. I folded it right on the five and a half. 
And then I've got this extra score line and we're going to fold that back. And that makes the book binding so easy. And before I glue that down, I want to add my ribbon and my little, um, whatever, design, <laughs> designer series paper. And I'm using a die. I wanted to share some standalone dies with you uh, because dies out of the annual catalog are 20% off. I did the math and the bundles that you save 10% off, you do save a tiny bit if you order the die separate from the stamp set, but since they're already discounted, it's not a big, um, a big savings, I'd still use it. <laughs> but the standalone dies, you're saving 20% off, so they are a great deal if there's some you've been looking at. Okay, so I'm using these basic border dies. Here's a little, let me pull these out. I'm sharing so much stuff today. I'm a little crazy. These are the different borders that you can use. I love the cloud border. I've used it quite a bit. I have used this one. And we're going to use this one today. We're going to use two of the borders on this card. So I'm taking my little slip of designer series paper. This is one and a fourth, I believe. Could be wrong. One and an eighth by four and an eighth. And I'll have this on my blog um, later, thepodpoodle.com. And I'm just going to, uh, well, we're going to die cut it first. Getting ahead of myself. I'm going to take this little zigzag and on one side, I didn't do any of my die cutting ahead of time, girls, so I hope this doesn't get boring for you. kind of wanted you to see how um, I did all these cuts so that's why I didn't do anything ahead of time. I wanted you to see it instead of hear it. Get this tape all off of here. This is my blue tape that I've ordered off of Amazon. It's just a very low tack tape. I like to use it when I'm using my um, um, cut and emboss machine. You could also use washi tape. It works really well for that. And I'm just going to lay this right in the center of that binding part, that little one and a fourth inch or one and a half inch part. Isn't that cute? It just gives it a little bit of um, texture and design. Is that a word? <laughs> Doesn't that sound professional? Then I'm going to use this ribbon. This is out of the um, annual catalog as well. It's a chevron um, something weave. Just chevron weave. And I'm going to show you a little trick how I do these knots. I didn't want to do a bow because bows are kind of big and bulky. So I wanted to do a knot and I'm going to show you a fun little way to do these. I'm going to take my awful messed up glue bottle here and I'm going to just tie a little length of this ribbon around it, trying to be neat about it. If you've come to my in-person classes in the past, I've showed this before. So I'm just tying like a little knot, just a plain old knot, trying to make it not too um, big and fat. And then I'm going to put a little mini glue dot. Hi, Kathy. Candy, is it your birthday today? Happy birthday! That's awesome. 
I'm going to put this right in the middle. It looks weird. looks like we have this big loop, but I'll show you what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to just cut it at an angle right in the middle. And there's a pretty little knot right there. And then I'm going to take these ends and glue them around back here. They're not going to show because we're going to glue this down. So you have that fun little knot and it's usually neater than a normal knot if you do it right. <laughs> I'm going to cut this one down just a little bit. And depending on what you use to tie your knot on, like I use the width of this glue bottle, but you could do a pencil. You could do anything round. You could do the handle of a tool. Um, will depend on how much uh, leftover that you have that's going to be your, your little um, flippy flops. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to use some liquid glue on this part. And I just put the glue behind that little um, panel that we had um, marked with our score line. So that's our little book binding. Isn't that easy? Now, for these layers, I took some cherry cobbler. This is why I need to... Um, I'm getting low on my cherry cobbler <laughs> cardstock, so I'm gonna take advantage of the sale tomorrow and get me some more of that. Um, and then I took this little um, die from the um, basic border dies. This is gonna be kind of boring for you all, <laughs> but I'll go fast, because we're gonna have to run this through four times. I'm gonna tape it to the top here we're going to make a border at the top and then we're going to do again at the bottom and we're going to do that again on this smaller piece of designer series paper. This piece of cardstock is four and an eighth by four and an eighth. So I'll show you again how I did that. I'm just putting this right on the edge in the middle. So I'm not using the whole die. I'm just making kind of a, a scalloped, stitch scalloped edge at the top. Are you doing anything special candy for your birthday? That's going to go right there. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this piece of designer series paper. And I think it's three and three quarter. Yep. Three and three quarter by four and an eighth. because it's going to be a little smaller than our cherry cobbler layer. And we're going to do it once more on the bottom. 
We're going to leave the sides alone. Yes, Kat, you need to get these borders out and use them. Alrighty. So now all we're going to do is just adhere this all to the card front. We're going to adhere this uh, designer series paper label layer to the cherry cobbler layer. Isn't that cute? That would make a cute little tag too. or a square card. Instead of the book binding card, you could uh, do a square card with this on there. That would be pretty. Okay, so we've used the two dies from the basic border dies. Now I'm going to grab another set of dies. These are the Stitch So Sweetly, and these this is another great standalone um, set of dies that are in the annual catalog, and then tomorrow they will be 20% off. These are great for layering and for sentiments, and we're using these for our sentiment, which is Merry Christmas. And I'm taking the Merry Christmas from the Perfectly Plaid uh, stamp set. It is in the annual catalog. There is a coordinating punch for these cute little Christmas trees, but we're not going to use the Christmas trees today. We're just going to use the, um, the sentiments. So I'm going to grab and do a little bit more die cutting. Scrap of cherry cobbler and a little scrap of basic white. Ooh, I think I got, no, oh, I did okay. I thought I got red ink under my paper piercing mat. I'm just going to stamp this Merry Christmas right in the middle of this basic white. And then while I got the ink out, did I not cut a piece for my inside of my card? I don't think I cut a piece for the inside of my card. I went ahead and put a uh, stamp because it has such a great um, this perfectly plaid stamp set has great inside um, words for the in your card insert is that the right way word <laughs> I'm trying to see if maybe I put it somewhere else no? We will just cut one real quick. It is a four, I think we need a four and an eight by a four and an eight. Let me find my ruler. There we go. Nope, looks like four by four. So this panel, this inside panel must be four and an eight by four and an eight. Okay, so for my inside words, I am going to use that ink everywhere. The um, Evening Evergreen ink. With the May This Special Season Be Wrapped in Love and Joy. Okay, we can stick this inside our card. 
And then this one we're going to die cut out with the Stitch So Sweetly dies. Oops. And I need my scrap of Cherry Cobbler that I know I pulled out. There she is. And we will cut these out. Okay. If you weren't here at the beginning, I was talking about the um, seasonal sale that starts tomorrow. I will be sending out an email in first thing in the morning, bright and early, um, probably before any of us are up, it will go out, um, just with a reminder and the link. So if you're not on my um, email list, hop on over to the plaidpoodle.com and you can sign up to um, receive reminders about sales. I send out tutorials and free um, project recipes and things once in a while. So, and I don't really go crazy with my emailing. So, um, make sure you go over there and sign up to receive those. The sale is 10% off of cardstock, 15% off of ink pads, and 20% off of dyes. And on the dyes and ink pads, I wouldn't wait because I know they've been low inventory on their inks just because of supply demands. Um, things have been going on back order and things, so with ink a lot. So I was really surprised they were going to have a sale on the ink. So make sure if you're wanting some ink to um, order sooner rather than later. There's a link to my store um, at, on my blog, theplaidpoodle.com, or you can go to leslie.stampinup.net to get to my online store. Okay, I have cut out two little holly leaves and I cut these out of the tidings and trimmings um, bundle. This is in the annual catalog and this is what you could get these dies for 20% off but I know you'd want the stamp set to go with it as well. So if you order the dies separate to get the 20% off and order the stamp set, you do save almost $2 um, just because there's already the bundle already has some savings built in. Um, so that's why I was kind of showing you the standalone dies. But you can still get those dies for 20% off because they are in the, uh, the annual catalog. And I wanted some something something to put on my little tag, so I cut out these little holly berries. I think or these holly leaves. I thought they were really cute. And I cut them out of the evening evergreen cardstock. And then I popped up my sentiment using um, dimensionals, Stampin' Dimensionals. All right, and then for the little um, holly berries, I'm using, I probably love, you probably love seeing my arm in the middle of the camera all this time. I need to figure this out. <laughs> Hi, Stephanie. You've been cleaning your craft room to make a mess. Yeah, that's what happens. We get it all clean and then we make a mess again. I also wanted to thank everybody for their patience. I planned on going live last um, Wednesday, but my mom needed a little uh, blood transfusion. So I escorted her to the infusion center 
and uh, that's where we were last Wednesday. So that was just kind of a last minute thing that would hit. It was just, they did some labs and thought her hemoglobin was kind of low. So nothing real urgent, but you know, I guess that's very common for people who have had major surgeries. Nobody was really worried about it, but we need to do something. Okay, I for my little berries, I am using, I use some of the Holiday Rhinestone Basic Jewels. I love these. This is like my third or fourth pack. <laughs> I use them all year round. Um, they're just really nice. Okay, so that is our bookbinding uh, card. Hence the little, the little bookbinding on the left-hand side. Really cute. And I wanted to share... Well, I've got you because these dies. I just think it's a great sale. I'm looking. I'm going to get a couple set, sets of standalone dies. Um, Twenty percent off is a really good deal. So, I wanted to share um, some that I already have in my um, stamping wardrobe. <laughs> the ones we used today were the basic borders. I thought the so many snowflakes would they are they would make a great standalone stamp. Um, die, um, but there is a coordinating stamp set if you'd like to get it. The ornate frames is perfect for your sentiment tags, so that would be a 20% off. Stitch rectangles that I use all the time, those would be 20% off starting tomorrow. The layering dioramas, which are kind of fun for um, when you make diorama cards. They'd also be cute for little ice or snow mounds. Um, I should do some more things with those. The Tasteful Labels, this would be another great standalone um, die set if you need some sentiment tags. And then the Give It a Whirl um, die set to make your spinner cards, that would be 20% off. The Stitch So Sweetly that we used for our sentiment today is a great standalone die set. That would be 20% off. And then if you need to stock up on your um, paper, which like I said, I need some more cherry cobbler and there's probably a couple more I'm looking over there that I'm gonna grab tomorrow and 15% off ink pads. So if you're trying to build your ink um, pad collection, tomorrow would be a great time to um, place an order. And if I can help you with any of that, I would love to. Um, don't hesitate to reach out to me. And if you have any questions about that or joining Stampin' Up, um, I'd be happy to help you with that as well. So thank you, girls, ladies, for joining me. I hope you have a great... Stephanie says she has a huge cardstock order. <laughs> the cardstock doesn't go on sale very often, so yeah, that's great to get 10% off. Um, and then as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, we get our extra our extra discount. So um, for all the Stampin' Up! Uh, demonstrators on here, keep that in mind as well. You you get the 10%, um, the 15%, or 20% off is in addition to your demonstrator discount. So um, go check your, your inventory. <laughs> you might need something. Okay, I will see you Wednesday. I'm really hoping I said last Monday I will see you Wednesday, and then I didn't, but I'm really hoping I will see you Wednesday. Um, you all have a great afternoon. Thank you for all the hearts and loves and shares, and we will um, see you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>